I'm glad to have been able to listen to the presentation so far. I have been given uh, the copies of these two publications and I've had a chance to look at them and uh, read them a little bit um, and I noticed some very important messages. Um, the uh, Beacon of Being and Becoming uh, by Dr. Andhya U.T. Chakravati has um, some very important phrases within it. And um, one, one thing that I noticed very clearly um, was the statement uh, that modern human must make a tough choice today between a refreshed climb to life or his present coast towards peril. And uh, I do uh, understand that we live in very difficult and dangerous times, both uh, politically and also uh, in the world where there are lots of conflicts and there are lots of potential or real wars and there are lots of suffering. And whatever religious background you have, um, whichever faith, uh, whichever nationality, whichever culture you come from, we are one humanity and we have to find common solutions to those problems because we only have one planet and what happens to destructive climate change or uh, conflicts which lead to tens of millions of people having to flee uh, has an impact on neighbouring countries. If uh, I decide to cut down the rainforest and burn the, 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 the forests, then maybe it will lead to climatic disasters and the rise of sea levels in other continents. And so we have to find common solutions. And those solutions, and this book is very interesting because it says you, we have scientific knowledge, but it is not just the scientific knowledge that we need to use. We also need to change the way we think. And um, I think that in the world of weapons of mass destruction and the world of uh, uh, growing population and growing consumption, we also have to recognise that that has consequences, not just for ourselves, but for the whole planet. Uh, and I'm therefore very delighted to be here to launch this publication, The Beacon of Being and Becoming, and I will take it away and read it more fully. Secondly, I also just want to say thank you for giving me a copy of the Quest. I received one last year also, with uh, the, or the publication of the photographs, description of your organisation and what you are doing internationally. And I'm very pleased that um, I can see that there are so many different activities uh, in different countries, in the United States, in Germany, uh, in Helsinki, in Finland, and, and also in, in India. So thank you for the invitation and the opportunity to be here with you today to celebrate um, your uh, organisation, but also um, uh, Sri Sri Thakur Anukul Chandra. And I would also like to say thank you um, uh, also for the entertainment and the presentation that I've been able to listen to. And I wish you all the success in the rest of the event today. Thank you.